This week on Direct Kicks, we discover one of the most sought-after prospects in all of world footy, and he's Canadian. That and much more on this week's show. Direct Kicks! Direct Kicks! Hi folks, I'm Scott Granville, host and creator of Direct Kicks the Soccer Show. You know, even after all these years, listening to that theme song sends chills down my spine. Because Direct Kicks was on an incredible roll. Eight seasons, 125 episodes, and nearly 20 countries traveled to in order to get some of the best highlights for grassroots soccer worldwide. We were on a roll. And then it all stopped dead, nearly dead, on July 18, 2005, I was in a serious head-on car crash that stopped the show and stopped my career. He's uh, going through a tough time right now in the hospital at Sunnybrook all week, uh, three surgeries, but he's a tough kid and uh, he'll be back. And now we have access to the footage for the very first time in nearly 20 years. We are absolutely ecstatic and we can't wait to showcase some of the best highlights and some of the most fun you'd ever have on a show. Because you know what? We had some fun. Time to get back to the kernel popping action. Oh, butter me up and call me corny, but this match should be a dandy. Oh, magic. After eight seasons and over 125 episodes, Direct Kicks introduced Canadian soccer fans to a plethora of future Hall of Famers. Now just get a load of the list of people who made their debut on our little show. It's amazing. Dwayne D. Rosario, Paul Stahl Terry, Cara Lang, Karina LeBlanc, Ian Hume, Julian de Guzman, and his brother Jonathan when he was just 12. the great Atiba Hutchinson, and look at Junior Hoylet at 13 with a Direct Kicks t-shirt. Stocky ahead, Hoylet scores! There's something about Junior Hoylet in these quarterfinals. Hey guys, come and watch me play. And Direct Kicks even had one of today's hottest prospects in English football when he was just four. Guys, I'm teacher. Yes, that's right. We have exclusive footage of Arsenal star Marcello Chicho Flores. This documentary is about nostalgia, but it's also passion for the game. We talk to coaches as well as players coast to coast and discuss how direct kicks help showcase some of the greatest talent Canadian soccer has ever seen. Somebody that is just an amazing young player, uh, Christine. We've watched you all week long at the camp. Uh, what What are your experiences um, going into this week, and uh, how, how have you felt? Uh, this is my first training camp with the national team, and it was pretty good. The first couple of days were a little different, but you get used to it. So you've just got an amazing touch on the ball for somebody. You're 17 years 16. old, 16 years yeah. old. Boy, oh boy, that's incredible. That's what soccer in Canada needs: young talent like yeah. yourself to to play at this level. Definitely, because. We got to look to the future for our program, so we need young people. Tell us, uh, maybe you can give some advice to the younger kids uh, on what they can do to uh, get to your level. Um, just practice hard, and but don't do too much because it's not good if you get sick of it. But just practice hard and never give up. Excellent. Good luck in the future. Thanks. Six in the wall. It is over. Brilliant. What a strike. Christine Sinclair sends a gasp around the Olympia Stadium in Berlin. Sinclair, goalkeeper up for line, Sinclair chips her, and she's got the third for Canada! 
You know, it always amazes me to remember that Christine Sinclair made her very first TV debut on our show, Direct Kicks. But let's face it, our show had a lot of legends. So, Pele, um, I guess we might as well just start like this. I've wanted to do this for so long, but... Um, <laughs> now that was an iconic moment, wasn't it, Corny? You know, we had quite a few of them, and it's a good thing that Pele hugged Patrick there, because Patrick would have fallen down, he was that excited. That was really cool. So let's set up the next scene really quickly. 1999, Varsity Stadium, Charmaine Hooper ready to do a PK. Don't let the empty stadium in the background fool you. There's 10,000 people on the other side, the pressure's on, and the kids are only 12. They have one take to throw to a women's soccer story. Live TV. Women's soccer is one of the world's fastest growing portion of the sport. And let me tell you, I like the ladies. Relax, Borley. Besides the World Cup, girls of all ages have a pro league to look forward to. I remember that moment like it was yesterday. I fell down in awe when they nailed that line and both kids thought they did something wrong. It's like, no, 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 Joseph, no, Corky, you did a great job, you nailed it in one take. <sighs> Corky ended up having a four-year scholarship down in the States. She was a great little soccer player and now has a great career in one of Canada's top grocers. And Joseph, that classic one-liner, he ended up getting into sports production and has won a mitt full of Emmys. Incredible. What a story in itself. So, you know what? Congratulations to those kids. Thank you so much for your help and your support of grassroots soccer here in Canada and direct kicks. Am I the only one hearing that song again? We'll see you next time. Direct kicks! Direct kicks!